So I've done a lot of these, I spent the night in different places videos lately and a lot of you have suggested to like stay on a boat in a lake. I'm going to take it one step further. I've ordered a Zorb. Who put them clothes there? One minute. Are they dry yet? No. Here you go, I've dried them for you. Drink way. Thanks. So I bought this Zorb ball thing, brand new. I've never done this before. I'm gonna spend the night on a lake in a Zorb ball. Now tell me someone's done that before, because I'm not believe you if they have, because that's just weird. Moon actually thought of it, so I thought, you know, that sounds like it's gonna be an awesome idea. So I ordered it online, here it is. And now I'm regretting it. <laughs> oh, this could go wrong in many ways. The thing is with these Zorb balls is that when you're in them and you're running, if I take any items in there with me, it's gonna go flying around everywhere. And also, if I stand on an item, it could pierce through the ball and then that's dangerous too. I could suffocate, I could drown because you can't open it from the inside. So the thing is you're meant to replace the air in the ball every 30 minutes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take items with me that I can only use in the brakes when I can fill the air. Yeah, I know what I mean. I don't know if, if it makes sense. So let me just show you what I've got. So here's the Zorb ball. I've rented a leaf blower to blow it up fast. Got my sleeping bag and just a couple of items in here. We've got some spare stuff in case we get a leak and we need to fix it and duct tape. Got some rope. I've got a knife for an emergency exit because I can't get out from the inside. Torch, an extra battery version of a blow up thing just in case the leaf blower fails and extra batteries and stuff. I've also got a bottle of water, I've just not put that in the bag yet. So yeah, these are the things I'm going to take with me. Can't take anything in the ball with me. I've got just like tracksuit bottom things on and uh, I'm going to be taking my shoes off because if I've got jeans, jeans have zips and stuff that could pierce the bag. I've just got like all safe clothes. So what I want to do first is go and give this a little test run, make sure there's no holes in it or anything. I'm going to do it in the house. See what my mum says. <laughs> That's crazy. It like echoes everything, listen. Echo! Wait a minute! What do you think? How are you going to get that out? <laughs> so far so good, I've had a go round, I've put my ear around everywhere, I can't hear any air escaping from anything, so it should be good to go. Test complete! So I'm going to let all the air out of this, go put everything in the car, and away we go. I think we found the best spot, we've got this like little pier thing. Set it up here and I get in. On this pier, I can just kind of jump in. Jump in with the ball? No, get in the ball and then just jump in, yeah. So you're gonna zip it up. <laughs> We're gonna have to take this in turns or something. What? What What are you doing? It's gonna take ages. Okay. What you got that leaf blower for? Come near Ed, you can like blow me out. Are you joking? I'm going now. That's gonna take forever. <laughs> you're joking, aren't you? Do it. Ball, Thomas. If you have to do this every 30 minutes, it's gonna be hard. Shall we get a rope or something to get you in? Hey, shall we get a rope? Because you're gonna be, you can't do this for 12 hours. Hey, come this way, I need the handles. Stop! Stop! Got it. We need to get a rope. Oh. Oh. How long are we? About 20 minutes. Oh. You can't do this for 12 hours. Let's get us a rope then, so we can get you back in. I'm still... 
I start drifting that way. You're gonna run low on so oxygen. Then I'm running down. Oh, it's hard to breathe. How so, is it though? How is it? Oh, it's so much fun. <laughs> we strap me up with a rope and then I take camera back in with me. So we've got my rope. If I attach the rope to this, I don't have to keep running, which means I'm not exhausted constantly and I should get more air in there. Because when you're running, after about half an hour, it gets hard to breathe. So if I'm just laid there, relaxed, chilled out, I should get at least a couple of hours worth of air. And tie it to, I don't know, tie it to the handle or something. Yeah. Right, let's get in this ball. Can't forget my uh, camera this time. Oh, let's go. Zoom in. Here we go, jumping in part two, but from the inside this time. I don't know which way to film, so I'll do it like this. I'll do it like this. Oh god, three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> what? It's, it's always just so cool. Look, we've got the rope now attached. I'm not going anywhere. I can just chill out and relax. Whoa, 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 whoa. no, no, no. No! Let's have a look underneath. Ah, it's just green, filthy green. Can't see anything. So Moon and my dad's here, they're gonna stay here all night because obviously I can't stay here on my own because as I mentioned earlier, you can't open this from the inside. So they're gonna be there with a timer. They'll be bringing me in when I need fresh air and everything and drinks and stuff. That's, uh, it's real sweaty. Anyway, it's starting to get dark. I'll keep you updated on what's happening. Poosh. I've been out here two hours. It's getting real dark as you can see right now. It's, the air is getting real thick. Bit, getting a bit hard to breathe. So uh, I definitely feel like it's time to refill the air. I think two hours is good. When I've not been running around and stuff, but when you're running it has to be every 30 minutes because you use more oxygen and stuff. <sighs> People's lights are starting to come on and stuff. There's no houses or anything that way. Oh. Oh. Can't see down. Okay. Bring me in. What do you want to do? Ah, oh. ah, oh. ah, oh. oh, that's nice. Water, water. Ah, oh. ah, oh. ah, oh, so nice. More air. I don't want sleeping bag yet. Just more air. Let's get back out. Ah, oh, more air. It's getting real dark. Oh, that's it. Okay, push me out. Yeah. Oh. Woo! See you in another two hours. <laughs> you got to be quiet. It's really hard to pull that zip. So Dad's gonna be here all night, refilling the uh, air and stuff. I'll probably not keep filming it because it's just boring. So uh, I'll just keep you documented on like what I'm doing in here and stuff. I wish we made that rope longer. And I can't get really far away, the rope's just kind of... We've got like 10 feet of rope. Maybe on the next one we'll extend it, I'm not too sure. I'm getting really hungry, but I mean, I can't have any food. Oh, this is so comfortable. I'll keep you updated. Oh, it's just so comfortable. This is so comfortable. I ain't got anything to do. It's just nice, chilling here. It's just so comfortable. It's like the most comfortable bed you could ever have. Why don't they do these? <laughs> the only problem is I forgot my torch. So I mean in like half an hour it's going to get dark. So I might have to go back just to get my torch in when it gets dark. But until then, what that? I thought sort of fish. So this is above water. Below water. <laughs> it's pitch black down there. Written trees. Come on this way. Oh, whoa. Oh. Oh. I'm starting to feel a bit seasick. I think I drank too much water, it's just all sloshing around in my belly. Oh, I don't usually get seasick, but this is just so wobbly. I can hear like a fly or something. What's that? Oh, I can't get it on camera, they're like a. I think that's a fly. How did a fly get in here? How is there a fly in here with me? That's screwed. <laughs> At least I've got a friend. I'm naming 
Gene. Gene, Gene is Gene a boy's name or a girl? I don't know. It's Gene. Mean Gene. Yeah, I'm so bored. I mean, like, I've literally got no entertainment, no phone. If something like bad happens and like the ball pops or something and I end up having to swim and I've got the phone in my pocket and stuff, that's not good. So it's just me and you. Dad's gonna make rope a bit longer. We we'll keep like bouncing back to pier. Oh yeah. <laughs> Have you tied other end? Oh god no! <laughs> when you've got that torch you can really see all the fog. Loads! Whoa! You got it! Torch! Yeah! Yeah, we may as well put fresh air while we're here. <laughs> Make sure rope's attached. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! <laughs> oh, let's have a look underwater. It torch. Apparently there's a lot of big fish down here. I can't see anything. That's a lot better now I've got the torch. It's pretty, it's like 90% pitch black out there now. We need the torch. We've got that. We've had another refresh of air. We're only out half an hour. So we're good for another two hours. So this is it. It's got like another two hours now. I, mean, I haven't got a watch on me. What time is it? Half past nine. Half past nine. I didn't know we this close, I thought we were in the middle. Push. push me go! She's going all right like that. She's had a bit from that ball. I am. Quick. Oh God, how are you going to do that? I can't drink it all, you'll have to empty it and pass me back in empty. Uh, 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 oh no, uh, I've got some on camera. It's warm. Here you go. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Did I shut it right? Oh, when I was weaning that bottle a bit spilt. When I was trying to aim at the beginning and oh, I'm lading it. So at first this was real fun, like before the challenge started coming out here in this and running around, that was loads of fun. But now it's like 10 past two or something. We've been here about uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven hours or so. It's just so boring. It's really comfortable. I mean, it's starting to get real cold. Definitely real cold. I mean, when I'm in here breathing and stuff, it kind of warms up a little, but that water just there is just freezing. Because I'm laid at the bottom where the water is and all the heat rises, it's just it's been so cold. I think next time I'm going, I'm going to have to get my sleeping bag. Definitely going to need that sleep. But it sounds like the air, it sounds like the air's escaping. I can't, I don't know where I can hear it. Is it, is it? Is this it? Not close properly. This is it, this is it. God, this is it! This is it! It's not close properly! Put me in quick! Quick! <sighs> but that's it, we're close properly. I need sleeping bag. I need sleeping bag. Make sure. Sleeping bag. Yeah. Oh, panicking then. Oh. Sleeping bag. Oh, fill me up, new air. Oh, I need more air, quick. I'm running low. You've got me squished in. Quick. You've got enough air. Oh. Oh. It's in two hours. Bye. See you later. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh. oh, this is actually so nice. Real comfortable. It's insanely comfortable. You just feel like you're floating. Oh, well, <laughs> you actually are floating. And it's nice and warm in the sleeping bag. This is the best sleeping in a weird place challenge thing I've done yet.
the roof, the tree, the car. Now this, this just tops them all easily. <laughs> I'm actually, it's sending me to sleep. I've not had any energy drinks or anything. I'm just, yeah, it's just so comfortable. I'm getting real, real tired, yeah. Just, oh, this is dope. This is dope AF, I love this. I'm keeping this ball. I'm gonna come and use this ball every weekend. Let's get nice and comfortable. Let's put camera there a sec. Hold on. Oh. 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 so weird honestly I thought I would just lay there for five minutes I must have fell asleep real quick next thing it's time for another refill two hours flew by so now it's closing in on about four o'clock uh, so it's about three hours left one more air refill before we get back well before I can go back and leave properly I'm so hungry seriously I'm so hungry I just want like a Chinese <laughs> oh what a Chinese <laughs> <laughs> what the? What? What's that? Is it a fish? They must have not seen me and swam into me. <laughs> it's twenty-five past five. Starting to get light, real quick. Like for absolutely no way, it just got light real quick. Like I don't even need my torch anymore. Uh, in about half an hour, we're gonna do the final air refresh. I can really tell it's getting thick in here. I'm getting ready for some new air. Uh, and then we're on the final hour. I've got in here at 7 p.m. I'm staying till 7 a.m. It's just been the best night's sleep I've ever had. <laughs> can we see any fish yet? Whoa, that's shallow. What the hell? Look at that. I can almost see the floor here. Whoa. Ducks, ducks. Morning. Morning, ducks. <laughs> you can really tell that we're steaming up now that it's lighter. Fish. Morning, fish. It's 10 to 6. I've looked online. Apparently, the sun rises at 5.52. So it's like any minute now. I mean, it's so cloudy. I don't think we're going to be able to see the sun. I think maybe it rises this way. I can't, it should be rising that way, I think. We've just done the final air change. So we're all good to go now. We're on the final one hour, 10 minutes. We started at the pier over there. I keep floating over to this one. It's really, really shallow. Look, you can see the, uh, the floor here. For some reason I just keep floating this way and getting stuck on the floor. It's that there, that floor. Some like expensive jewelry or something. Anyway, yeah, I keep landing here. Oh, a beer can. Don't touch it, that's sharp. Whoa, 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 whoa. Beer can. Whoa, don't touch that. That's dangerous. I've got to keep, like, trying to move myself that way. <laughs> uh, makes me feel more seasick. Oh my god, I feel so close, so close to puking. Oh, puking, what the hell, puking. Oh, so close. Whoa. So this is it, Moon just told me we're getting close. Do you want to give us a countdown? Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, that's it. Yeah, pull me in. <laughs> well, it's the end. 
Is it seven o'clock? Seven o'clock, yes. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> oh, bloody hell. I left your present in there. <laughs> <laughs> that stinks. <laughs>